Praise be Jesus Christ. Let's all keep Father P Frank Pavone in our prayers. I really don't know anything about his situation, but it is a little um, disturbing to hear of what seems to be a good priest who is informed by Catholic news agency that the Vatican has laicized him with no option of appeal. So please keep Father Frank Pavone in your prayers. I want to speak about marriage today and World War III. We know from many prophecies that the two are kind of connected. Marriage, this loving communion between husband and wife, this faithful, lifelong communion of love that brings life, that begets children, it's a bit of an icon of God, the Trinity, this communion of love that gives life, that's, that's forever faithful. And we know that the enemy wants to attack this wonderful, sacred icon. And unfortunately, in our time, especially in the Western world, we see more and more uh, abomination, what, what, if we want to use the biblical language, a move more and more towards the ways of Sodom and Gomorrah. And we know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. And we need to never be afraid because we have a Father who cares for us, but we also need to be vigilant and be awake and read the signs of the times and listen, listen to God's prophets. In uh, I don't read this too often, but I just picked this up the other day. To the priests, our ladies, beloved sons, Mary and Movement of Priests, these are messages that Father uh, Gobi um, received in prayer. He shares that he sensed our Blessed Mother saying to him, this is January 1st, 1981. This, this is talking about World War III. And remember, Pope Francis has repeatedly mentioned the reality of World War III and the threat of, of great devastation to the world with the threat of nuclear holocaust. So Pope Francis is saying this too. The inability of the men, so this is Father Golby <clears throat> sharing what he sensed our Blessed Mother Sanctum, January 1st, 1981. The passage is uh, 219. The inability of the men of today to establish peace is caused by their obstinate denial of God. You think of uh, our Catholic, some of our Catholic politicians pu pushing things that, again, biblically we call them abominations. We even think of now some leaders in the church making very confusing statements. Some bishops are, are just calling them heretical statements. A time of confusion, you know, rebellion against the law of God. Okay, let me start over here. The, inabil the inability of the men of today to establish peace is caused by their obstinate denial of God. So long as humanity continues to go along the way of rejection of God, and of rebellion against his law, you will have no peace. On the contrary, egoism and violence will increase, and wars will follow upon wars, ever more cruel and bloody. As has been many times foreseen, a third worldwide war, which will have the terrible capacity of destroying the greater part of the human race, can take place if men do not seriously resolve to return to God. The Lord, is already to, the Lord is ready to pour out upon even your straying and so very threatened generation the floods of His mercy only on the condition that this generation return with repentance to the arms of its heavenly Father. From Isaiah chapter 5, the Lord says, What more could be done for my vineyard that I did not do. Viva Cristo Re.